Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got the unboxing of the Xbox One. I've literally just came back from the midnight release from a uh, game. So yeah, let's see what we get. Oh, oh, here's the day one edition, FIFA 14 as you can see. Uh, you've probably seen a couple of these but you know, I just want to do it because it's the first time I've ever got a console on release. Sorry about the rustling of the bag. Right. Oh. That. About there. Sorry that the webcam isn't the best, but that'll improve eventually. So, the games I did get with it are Rise, Son of Rome, uh, I got the exclusive D1 year of Xbox Live with Killing Instinct download, oh, oh crap, uh, Pacific Rim Blu ray, uh, you get that for free, so you know, and Call of Duty Ghosts. So, yeah, let's actually see what we get in this box. Um, oh my god, it is actually. Oh, sorry, it, it is actually really, really heavy. Right, <laughs> see if I can get this out. I probably should have like um, got rid of all this plastic. I'll probably cut this bit out. Okay, so I've actually took the plastic off now, and as you can see, it's a sleeve. Right. Now the actual console itself, and there's no plastic, which is good. Uh, I think I've opened this wrong. Do it this way. Sorry if you can't see very well. Um, as I said, this is a uh, not the best webcam. Right, like that. Okay, so there's the FIFA 14 download that comes with it. Um, See what this is the user manual. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is two weeks of Xbox Live, but I've got a month anyway. Uh, oh, the day one achievement. And then some terms and conditions and stuff like that. So see what we've got. So we've got, uh, I'll move this out the way, sorry about this, very unorganised, but you know, <laughs> just got back so, you know, really hyped for this console. So we have the headset, uh, it's actually quite sleek, there we go, see if you can see that, no you can't really see that, but uh, yeah, just don't know what the quality is going to be, but hopefully it's good. Um, we then have power cord, nothing special in there really. Uh, well, I suppose if you didn't have it, it wouldn't turn on. So, you know, I'll, I'll back on with that later. Um, I think HDMI cable, it's actually quite long by the looks of it. Actually, take this out, see how long it is. I think this might be two, three meters, which is actually quite good. I'm sure this is a 4K HDMI cable as well. If anyone has 4K TV, yeah, that's two meter HDMI cable, I think. It's quite nice. Comes as standard. The power pack, which has changed slightly. It's not as rounded as the 360. It's like, oh, has it even got the... No, it doesn't, but... um. It's like rectangular, I don't know if you can see. Um, they've left the sticker on to try and mimic the actual console, I think. Um, then we obviously have the Kinect. Which... Uh, which is, oh god, don't want to damage this, which is there. I'll um, faff on with all this after I've shown you. Forgot also the Xbox sticker, get with it, nice, I suppose. And, oh, nearly forgot this before we open the console itself. Uh, the actual controller, which, yeah, it's uh, day one edition. Uh, there, you can see day one edition. Oh my god, this, 
honestly this feels so good I can see what uh, Ali said if anyone watched his video or team art then you get two Duracell AA batteries it's very useful if anyone's uh, interested everything I've got here because of discounts for day one cost £527 um, game are actually are really really good like really friendly the way they did it as well is like a, a numbering system and they already had whatever you went in paid early and um, they put all your stuff you asked for in a bag so they would just call your number and then you'd go and collect your stuff uh, honestly really really good service I know a lot of people are dissatisfied on Amazon because they're getting it late like um, Oh, I can't remember what FIFA YouTuber said that, but um, it was on Twitter, and now the console itself uh, looks so nice in my opinion. You've got the, I think it's chrome on that side, then you've got the ventilation, and uh, I think that's where the fan will be under one of that side. It's even split on the other side, like on the side. We've split it, then you've got... Uh, a USB 3.0 port, um, obviously the disc tray, the on button, which is actually very good by the looks of it. Ugh, it's already got loads of fingerprints on. <laughs> um, then we have the back where you have HDMI out, which I think that is the TV. Yeah, that's the output to the TV. Uh, you've got I don't know what that is. I'm not very good. Uh, HDMI in is like if you want to put like a TiVo box through it or something like that so you can watch TV. You've got two more 3.0 ports. Don't know if you can see that. Um, I presume that's the power port. Then a couple of other ports which I'm not entirely sure. I think one's probably a Ethernet port. But yeah, I'm going to set this up and then download the 500 megabyte update that you do get with it. Um, because obviously Microsoft changed their policies. So yeah, I'll be back with a video of first time use. Hopefully I can get the Elgato working before I actually load the console. So yeah, if you have enjoyed, please do hit that like button. It really does help. Subscribe to my uh, channel for daily FIFA 14 content on next gen. And yeah, peace. And be sure to check my channel later on for a first time usage. Cheers.